Okay, so guys, I found a way how to change the firmware of these um, standard batteries. I tried to search online, best I can. I, don't, I can find how to downgrade the firmware, the 303 firmware from the companies. Because when you got this firmware, they don't allow you to charge the battery. Some, uh, sometimes you can charge it but up only up to 80%. Sometimes you can even charge it. So you need to change the firmware. And I searched everywhere. I can't find the, the way to do it. So I came with an idea and they do work. What I did was I made these wires. I made these wires. I take these for a uh, battery. Well, I actually take this plug from the BMF from uh, one of these uh, from all these in internal batteries. I take this one. I cut one of those. I cut one of those just to build this little harness. <clears throat> this one, and I solder at the end. This is the one end. And then in the other end, what I did was I take uh, I take one of those things out of the back controller, remove these two pins inside there. Okay, that's what I got there. Those two gold pins. I remove it for the old bad board that I got around. And I solder here. Okay. So what you do is, the whole idea is to connect this battery, the standard battery, like if it was an internal battery. For example, you make this little harness here, okay? Then you made this one, that's for the BMS. At the end, I just sort this all, uh like pins or something. Little bit thick, little bit thick. That way you can stick it here. Push it inside this pin so here. You can push it there and they stay there. That's the whole idea. Just to put it there and they stay there. That's you have to achieve that. So what you do is hook up the BMS first. The yellow going here the white I mean it's blue but it's white I got the blue sorted to the white so it's basically the white that one is going here that this one is RX and the yellow is TX you got the diagram right there you see TX the yellow and RX the white. I mean it's blue but it's white. And then the red is going in this corner here. Like they say there, see? The red is going right here. And then the black is going right in the other corner. Right over here right there I had to fix the red one it won't stick right like, real easy they stick but if you shake it a little bit they come out so try to do a good job here that way it won't the thing is you have to hook up those four wires over there like that okay and then take the positive positive the bottom one you see so this one you hook, you stick this there, stick it there, stick the other one here, okay. Shit, this red one keep coming out. <clears throat> At the end, it's gonna be like that. Positive, I got it. TX, RX, okay. 
and then you're gonna have like a normal internal okay regular battery so you hook up this to the board <clears throat> but you need to disassemble the whole board um, you can do it inside the casing yes Let me yes you can do it here you can do it but you have to disassemble the whole scooter and then what you do is just connect the the power plug over there and the BMS cable over there like a regular internal battery <clears throat> and then connect the connect the um the dashboard you have to do everything outside of the of the neck you have to put this you need to hook up the control the um the dashboard to the controller and then you need to find out a motor that way you can set it all like that in the side to hook up the the controller that way you don't have any error code you need to hook up the motor everything okay hook up the controller and hook up the battery and then turn on the scooter and then you go to the nine buck flash fun yeah nine buck flash fun yeah i think that's the name of the app yeah nine nine buck um flash dot fun and then over there what you're gonna do is you're gonna scan the scooter you're gonna see they're gonna show you in the app they're gonna show you like a regular internal battery with the 303 uh, BMS firmware and then you want to downgrade you want to change the BMS they're going to give you the option and then you want to pick up the 141 BMS you can you have to I think like three options you, you got the 141 and 136 BMS and it is another one 120 121 also I picked the 141 and then <clears throat> you flash it and after done you update the information and you will see they will change the BMS firmware from 303 to 141 and you're done that's it that's all you have to do I already did it and they work perfect but you have to disassemble the whole scooter put the board like that connect the motor connect the dashboard like everything's working fine no codes or nothing and then turn on 9 bob dot fun and downgrade the BMS and you're done that's all I did this because I tried to find out information on how to change the BMS uh, firmware while, while it's installing the scooter, with, but I can't find any information. So I did this to see what happened and they worked. So there is, there you have it.